Tonight, a Central Division rivalry heats up again in the home of the reigning champs. The Edmonton Oil Kings are still trying to find their swag. Up and down of late, the Oil Kings have their sights set on the Hitmen, who arrive at Rexall searching for consistency of their own. But a win in Edmonton would strengthen their hold on a top three spot in the Central. It's the Hitmen and Oil Kings, next on Shaw. Malenstein back to the line again for Bean. Bean walks the line very well, but ran into Bertolucci in this juncture. Bertolucci drops it, scores! The former Hitman Marshall Donald, and the Oil Kings strike first. Boy, we've talked a lot off the air and other broadcasters as well, as well about 16-year-old Jake Bean. I call him Little Jake. I call Jake Vertan and Big Jake. Jake Bean just gets Luke Bertolucci in his face. And that's always a problem. Luke Bertolucci, so quick, goes down that wing. Looks like the play's going to be broken up. But what a nice little feed there. There's a quick shot. There's a quick release. And Max Shields just can't get over to cover that. But chart that one all up to Luke Bertolucci. Bean carries into the zone. Knocked off his stick by Irving. And here comes Bauer. Bauer with Pollock. Bauer looks at Pollock, tries to feather it over a stick, and they score! Brett Pollock with a fantastic backhand, and it's two to nothing. The Hitman's leading point getter leaves it. Tambellini, Thomas moved up, but he fanned on it. And here comes Bauer at the other end. Bauer, stuck by Shields. Didn't look that comfortable, but he made the save. And this is Kosh to Pollock, right on the tape. Pollock waits off the bench. Here's Calda, and reaching down just in the nick of time is Max Shields. Fails to take it with him, and Rankin wants to clear it in. Rankin holds it beautifully. They score! Goes off of Tambellini, past Jari, and Tambellini's hot streak continues. At least I think he'll be given credit. Well, you know the rank of Tambellini versus Tannen line is the line that you you look to to get you back in a 2-0 game. Rankin gets that puck, slides by, and you know, it was again, Tambellini did a good job there. He went to the front of the net. He wanted to help on this puck pursuit along the boards. He comes in, he says, uh-uh, I better get to the front of the net. Watch number 19, Tambellini, but the celebration doesn't look like it's Tambellini's goal, but they'll take it. Penalty over, and now a break at the other end. Orbit a shot, and Shields a big save, and now there's going to be a penalty, and it's going to go to Mads Eller. Why not? Done everything else well. Now the Hitmen feel like that puck was cleared directly out of play. Well, let's take a look. Watch the puck. This one time we want you to focus on it. Pretty clear. Sanai. Tambellini returns it to Sanai. Tambellini scores! Tambellini and the Hitmen with a two man advantage have tied it. Bert Tannen on right wing, pocket picked by Calda, but Calda fails to move it out. Rankin, who has two more points in the game, and takes a slash and right off the helmet. I don't think there was any intent there, Bill, whatsoever. He was in a bad spot and paid for it. Sanheim has an assist in the game. His 41st point of the season, down low. Found Peterson wasn't in a position to shoot it. Now he tips it, he scores! Elliot Peterson from Sanheim, and the Hitmen take their first lead. Well, you think they will anyway. Phil Ducino, the lead. Scores! Beck Malenstein surprises Tristan Jari. And it's 4-2 as the 16-year-old from Delta finds the net for the sixth time. Peter, if you're in the right spot and you've got that kind of release, you're going to score some goals. That might prove to be an awfully 
big goal as it gives his Calgary team a two goal lead. First goal since he found it at December 14th against Kelowna, and there's another one for 10 and with a pretty feed to Connor Rankin. And goal seconds apart have maybe put this game to bed. Max Shields plays it on the boards, and that'll do it. The Calgary Hitmen come to Edmonton and will head home with a 5 2 win over the Oil Kings. Well, you know, you look at Max Shields in the net, by the way, it's his 50th career win. And Max Shields tonight gave up a goal on his third shot to Marshall Donald, gave up a goal on his fourth shot that he faced tonight to Brett Pollock, and he was absolutely perfect thereafter. When you're talking goaltenders, you're talking bounce back games, you're talking bounce back periods, you're talking bounce back situations all year long, and he did that tonight. I thought Max Shields was really strong as the game went on. Good for him.